Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word for tough times is God said, ask me to remove depression and anxiety from you. Need to trust me more and cry out now. We need to cry out to God. A lot of us are suffering through pain from our past. A lot of us are going through things that we have did towards other people. So we're dealing with the consequences. In Psalms 57 and 2, it reads, I cry out to God, most high, to God, who fulfills his purpose for me. God will do whatever he needs to do in you if you're serious. I want you to know that it's important that you cry out to God. Whatever you're going through, you know, a lot of us are dealing with anxiety and depression. And anytime that demonic, you know, demonic spirit comes against you, you need to learn how to rebuke that stuff. Anytime the devil is having you depressed, he having you dealing with anxiety, he having you dealing with suicidal thoughts, he having you feel like you need to quit. You need to pray over yourself and say, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Lord God, touch my mind. Always pray over your mind because the devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy God, people. Because, listen, our mind is focused on what's ahead of us. We're not even focused on what's behind us. You got to stay focused. How do you stay focused with God? You got to ask God to remove everything out of you that is not of him. And repent, constantly repent, constantly live your life according to his will. Yes, we fall in temptations. Yes, we may go through a lot of things with our sin. But you got to learn how to repent and turn away from that stuff. If you want to become better, you got to learn how to do better with yourself. If you want to become better, you got to learn how to do better with yourself. And you have to say, God, I'm sorry. A lot of y'all... Do not even apologize to God. That's why you're going through depression and anxiety because you, you're not really trying to explain yourself to God. God wants you to learn how to cry out to him. You need to learn how to go back into seeking. Some of y'all not seeking the Lord how you used to. You got to learn how to seek the Lord. And when you seek him, you can find him. It's time for you to call on Jesus and say, Lord, I need you to make a way out of no way in my life. Really cry out to God and say, God, make a way for me. Because I'm dealing with a lot of things on the inside. God know us before anything. He know you. He know your thoughts. He know what you're going through. And I want you to know you got to learn how to cry out to God and stop thinking that you know everything. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. And sometimes, you know, when I'm talking to God, he have to get me back into the place that where he want me to go. You know, he want me to pray. He want everybody to pray. He want everybody to fast. He want us to call on his name. So I just want to say, you know, put God first in everything you do and just know that he wants to help you to be the person that he wants you to be and just learn how to just turn to him and cry out to God. Don't be afraid to cry out to him and just know that God can remove every sin that you're dealing with. He can remove that away. And know that God can remove any problem. Whatever you're dealing with, depression, anxiety, you need to learn how to remove that spirit and tell God to remove that from you. Anytime the devil put something on you and you feel uncomfortable, something ain't right, it's because the devil is trying to control you. You need to lift your hands up and say, I rebuke anything that Satan is trying to put on me. And you can call, him name, call his name out, Lucifer, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Because he would love to control people's mind. And if he got your mind, he got you. So I just want to say, stay prayed up, keep praying, keep fasting, keep serving the Lord and allowing God to be first in your life because the devil is busy and we have to learn how to stay focused on God and we have to learn how to keep God first. So I want to say, whatever you're doing, look at yourself in the mirror and fix yourself to become better and just ask God to fix you and he will. Thank you for watching. Don't give up, but pray about all things. I love you all. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Thank you again.